so starting with this question we have learned so far how to find the integral of this expression where your denominator was simply a product of one a product of two or more than two linear factors of the expression right this kinds of the questions you have done yes ma'am as to do that we have first learned into that we will try to decompose the fraction using the partial fractions and then we will integrate by reducing it to one of the standard forms of the integral that was the whole procedure is all about now today also we will be doing the same but this time there is a slight variation in the types of the questions this time suppose you have to de decompose a fraction which is written in this form 1 over x minus a times x minus b is square i have to decompose this kind of the expression so remember this whenever we have to decompose such kind of an expression we will first assume let this to be a by x minus a plus just like your regular one you will take a by x minus a plus b by x minus b and now we are not done yet we will also consider one more fraction that is c here plus c over x minus b is square because they have the square factor is there so you have to take two different factors in this case so the expression will get broken down into three parts and now we will integrate the expression depending upon the desired result let's try to understand this with the help of an example suppose you have to integrate the expression 1 over x minus 2 times x plus 3 whole square dx what we will do we want to integrate this expression so first i would like to represent the expression in this part 1 over x minus 2 times x plus 3 whole square will be broken down as a over x minus 2 plus b over x plus 3 Plus c over x plus three whole square. Now, just like your same procedure, we'll take the LCM on both the sides. So here I'll have only one, whereas on this side I will have. Taking LCM a times x plus three whole square, it is on this side b times x minus two times x plus three, and here c times x minus two. This is what we have after taking the LCM. Now again, we have to solve this linear. We have to solve this to get the values of three unknowns a, b, and c. and for this purpose yes rimsha can you tell me how can we solve these equations ma'am putting x minus 2 equals to 0 x plus 3 both by 0 okay so first i will put x minus 2 is equals to 0 in this expression this is my first equation and this one is the second one the moment i do this 
on my left hand side i have nothing so we are just left with one only here and on this side a times x minus 2 is equals to 0 means x is equals to 2 2 plus 3 whole square plus b times 0 plus c times 0 it is 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 so this implies the value of a came out to be 1 over 25 that's the value of a now let's come to the next part. Here we have to put x plus 3 equals to 0. If I will put x plus 3 is equals to 0, that is x is equals to minus 3. Let's do that. In this case, if I will substitute here, you will see again the factor, first factor will become 0. On the left hand side, I have only 1 then no worry about this part. Here I have only one, but for the right hand side, a times 0 plus b times 0 plus c times minus So from this expression, I get the value of c to be minus 1 over 5. Now we have the value of a and c but we didn't get the value of b yet and I am not left with any other factor here. So how can we proceed this? Well don't worry about it. What you are doing here is basically you are trying to simplify the expression to get the value of a, b and c. We will do the same thing on the second equation. You can compare the coefficients of the x, x square on both sides to get the desired result. Like for example, if I have my equation 2, if I will simplify it further, you will see that I will get a times x square plus 6x plus 9, whereas b times x square plus 3x minus 2x is x minus 6 and plus c times x minus 2. Now here, I'll take out the coefficients of x square. That is a plus b. Next, collect the coefficients of x. That will be 6 times a plus b plus c. And collect the constant term, which is 9a minus 6b minus 2c. Now you can compare on both sides. Look at the coefficient of x square on the left hand side. Do I have any? Do you have any? On the left hand side, I have nothing. So comparing the coefficient of x square. Here I have 0 and on the other side I have a plus b. So a plus b should be equals to. Zero is equals to a plus b, which implies b is equals to minus a. That that means negative one hundred and twenty-five. So, what it will become now? I can substitute the values of a, b, and c in the above expression so that we can have the answer. Let's do that. Expression will become 1 over 25 times x plus x minus 2 plus b is minus 1 over 25. This will all also get substituted. So 
so the question will become integration of 1 over 25 x minus 2 dx minus integration of 1 over 25 x plus 3 it was and yes. then minus yes 1 over 5 x plus 3 whole square dx right now let us do this in this part 1 over 25 as it is what is the integration of 1 over x minus 2 log mod log x mod x Yes, log mod x minus 2 minus. Here, negative 1 over 25 outside. What's the integration of 1 over x plus 3? Log mod x plus 3. Yes. And the last part. Yes. Jadev, what's the integration of this part? Kashika, integration here I have 1 over 5 only. What's the integration of 1 over x plus 3 whole square? If you guys are getting confused, you can use the substitution here. This is what I will substitute x plus 3 to be t, t to the power minus 2. So this will give you what? Negative 1 over x plus 3 only. That's it. Um, Ma'am? Yes? And we can also solve this with the formula of x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1, right? Uh, could you please repeat? Ma'am, we can also solve this with the formula of x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Uh, yeah, x to the power n dx. Yes, this is what we have done actually. But before that, I have to substitute x plus 3 to be t. Right? Okay, ma'am. So the dx and this will get converted into t form. This is what we have done actually. The power is minus 2, minus 2 plus 1. So x plus 3 to the power minus 1. That means reciprocal and minus 1 will also come. So this is the exact expression we have. Now the first two terms are in terms of logarithms and their numerate coefficients are also the same. So I can write it as 1 over 25 log of mod something minus this. That will be x minus 2. This and plus 1 over 5 x plus 3 plus constant of integration. And see, we are done with this. So the idea behind this is clear. Yes. Great. This is fine. Now, if this is okay, let's try doing another question. Uh, point to be noted, sometimes they will not give you in this form directly. Like this is also possible. You have been given an expression like in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. So you have to factorize the expression and then you can use the partial fraction to simplify it. All right, so this is also possible. Now, if whatever we have done so far is clear to you, let's move on to the next question. This time you have to integrate the expression 3x minus 2 over x minus 2 whole square and x plus 2 dx. 
we have to integrate this expression now forming the same method kashika can you tell me in what manner the fraction should be decomposed by using partial fraction in what manner it will be decomposed Ma'am, I have a question. Yes, Samita. Ma'am, is it important that under the B uh, one we have them? Uh, that's completely okay with that because you know it's all about getting their values. If you have taken uh, interchanged the positions of A and B, that doesn't matter. Your uh, this part will your answer final answer will be the same. The only difference will be if you have taken in place of A in b they have been interchanged then only their values will get interchanged but your final answer will be the same okay ma'am because this is completely depends upon our choice of consideration na so if i have 3x minus 2 over x minus 2 whole square x plus 2 i'll do it one by one i know first factor will be a over x minus 2 then we will take its a square b over x minus 2 whole square and then the third factor c which is x plus 2 and in fact you can switch their positions as well that's not gonna matter okay okay ma'am all right so this is the expression i have now after taking the lcm and simplifying it well this time my left hand side also have x factor in it while taking the lcm a will get multiplied with one more factor of x minus 2 and x plus 2 whereas in the case of b it will get multiplied with only one factor that is x plus 2 and for c also we have to take the multiplication with x minus 2 whole square now again c Let's try to do this question. Uh, if I will take these factors, this will become x square minus 4. This is b times x plus 2. And this one is c times x minus 2 ka whole square. This can also be written as x square minus 4x plus 4. If you want, again, you can do this thing. Let us compare the coefficient of x square because this is the easiest portion. In the left hand side, do I have anything for the x square? No, ma'am. No. That means 0. And in the right hand side, for the coefficient of x square, I will have this a times x square and plus c times x square. So the coefficient. Here will be a plus c, which implies c is equals to negative n. Clear? Okay, now let's do the same thing putting the factors to get the answers here. This suppose this is my equation 1 and that's my equation 2. Now it's okay to put it in this one, this expression so that it becomes easy. First, I would like to put x is equals to 2 in this expression. Put x is equals to 2 in equation 1. Now, what it will become? Three times two minus two equals to a times x is equals to two is there. 0 plus b times 2 plus 2 plus c times 0. So, 6 minus 2 is what? 4 is equals to 4b. This implies b is equals to 1. So, what's the value of b here? 1. 1. Now, the next part, similarly, 
this time I would like to put x is equals to minus 2 in the equation 2. If I will do that, in this case, 3 times minus 2 minus 2 is equals to a times minus 2 and this will be 0 plus b time. This one is also 0 plus c times minus 2 minus 2 whole square. So minus 6 minus 2 will be negative 8 is equals to minus 4 square is how much? 16. 16c. So from minus this expression, by two. yes, c is negative 1 by 2. B is 1, c is negative 1 by 2. And uh, so a what by two. a will be 1 by 2. Now see how simple it becomes. Just substitute all these values in my equation 1 and integrate. Let me know your final answer in the comments. Once you get used to with it, then it becomes so easy to deal with these questions. For the first question, the explanation, explanation took a little longer. Otherwise, it's not that much difficult. So let's get back to our question. The question was 3x minus 2 over x minus 2 whole square x plus 2 dx. This is equals to what? Integration of uh, a is 1 by 2 now. So that will be 1 over 2 x minus 2. Next, for the value of b, I have only 1. 1 over x minus 2 whole square. And the last one, c. Integration 1 over 2. And the last factor is x plus 2 dx. So what it will become for the first part? 1 over 2 as it is, integration of 1 over x minus 2 will become log of mod x minus 2. Plus, in the next case, again, same concept, negative 1 over x minus 2. And the last one, minus 1 over 2. Integration. I would like to take the terms having 1 over 2 logarithm one side and according to the laws of logarithm, negatives implies the division. So x minus 2 over x plus 2, negative 1 over x minus 2 plus constant of integration. How simple it is? So this saves us even if where the degree of denominator is greater than the degree of numerator. As you can see that this is applicable only in that case. And if your degree of numerator, yes. I'm actually I interchanged the positions and I'm getting a different answer. What's your answer? I'm getting one half log mod x minus 2 plus log mod x plus 2 plus 1 by 2 into x minus 2. Plus 1 by 2 into x minus 2. Uh, what's the value of b in your case? 1. So how did it become 1 by 2 so x minus actually 2? 1 by 2 x minus 2 is for c. Um, actually, for uh, C, I took x minus 2 whole square. Uh, that is also fine. Your answer for this part is coming out different. For this B factor? Um, yes, ma'am. And your values of A, B, C were coming out same or different? I'm the same. Uh, then you might. Okay, ma'am. 
yeah you have done the half of the questions from your way and the next half from my way no you no ma'am like no. before you actually solved the values of abc i got the same values well then you might have done something wrong while taking the lcm in this expression that might be the possibility okay uh, just show me after the class i'll check if there is something wrong in that solution okay ma'am all right so in all these cases you can see that we were dealing with the rational functions where numerator the degree of numerator was less than the degree of denominator and denominator can be written as a product of linear factors that's what we have now let's move on to the next one next type of the questions this time we have to work same type of the integrals but this time my numerator is not a simple expression it cannot be factorized into the linear forms easily like you know that we can factorized a quadratic expression but it is not always possible to factorize them that's why we used to follow the factorization uh, quadratic formula to get their solutions remember yes so whenever you have such kind of the problem like uh, suppose i have an expression where i cannot factorize the quadratic factor in that case the consideration of the polynomial is going to be little bit different the only change is like for example i have this expression in which i have x plus 3 and another one is x square Plus two x. Minus eight. Suppose I have this expression. Now, in this case, you can see that I cannot factorize this expression further. Can you give me a factors of eight, which when subtracted gives you two? Two into four. This subtraction should give you two. Sorry, b square minus four ac. My bad. Two x plus eight. It is. Or in simple words, you can take two x plus four as well. Now, can you give me a factor? Can you factorize this expression x square plus two x plus four? Can you do that? Not possible. Not possible. So in that case, can can can't we use the decomp partial fractions? Well, of course we can use that. The only difference here is going to be earlier you were taking your numerator to be simple a x plus three. That was simple, but This time you have to take the second one, where denominator is x square plus two x plus four. Now the point is, if you will look at your denominator, denominator is of degree two. So this time my numerator will be written as b x plus c. This is how we have to consider. If you are going to take a quadratic expression in the denominator. you have to make sure your numerator for general consideration you have to consider it bx plus c however this is also possible while finding out the values of a b and c one of the constant came out to be zero this is also the possibility but you will always consider a linear factor here so whatever is present in your denominator you just have to take one degree less than that in your numerator that's the case nothing else okay yes yeah so let's try doing that this time um for this question again the procedure is same you have to take the lcm of course so 1 is equals to a times 
x square plus twice of x plus 4. And then this time bx plus c times x plus 3. Now you can clearly see that this time it becomes a little difficult to put the factors here. But at least I have one factor. So I would like to substitute x plus 3 is equal to 0 also. If I will put x is equal to x plus 3 equals to 0, that means x is equal to minus 3. Let's substitute it. If I'll do that on left hand side 1 only, right hand side minus 3 square will be 9 minus 6 plus 4. And this expression will completely become 0. So this tells me what? What's the value of A here? A is equal to 1 by 7. Now, the next case is, what do we have next here? Uh, this time you have to, you cannot put any other factor. So I would like to follow the same comparing the coefficient method. Here I have ax square plus twice of x plus 4. Whereas on the next part, you can multiply these. You will get bx square plus 3bx plus cx plus 3c. Now compare the coefficient on both sides. So if I will look at the coefficient of x square on the left hand side I have 0. On the right hand side I have a plus b. Again coefficient of x on the left hand side it's 0. On the right hand side, x co coefficient twice of a and uh, plus 3b is also there and c as well. And now constant term on the left hand side, my constant term is 1. On the right hand side, 4a plus 3c. Now if a plus b is equals to 0, you can see that b will be equals to negative a and I already know what's the value of a here. I can substitute negative 1 over 7. That's all right. Now you have to get the value of c also to find out what will be the value of c here. Then 1 over 7. 1 over 7 again. Yes. Yes, that's correct. C is 1 over 7. So let us substitute all these in the above expression. If I will do this, in this case, while finding out its integral, a over x plus 3 is given. That will be written as integration of 1 over 7 and this time what factor I have? x plus 3? Yes. yes. And then plus bx plus c was there minus 1 by 7x plus 1 by 7 and c will be x square plus 2x plus 4 and this dx. This is the integral we have to consider. Now you can see that if I will look at my first part, its integration is pretty simple. That's 1 over 7 log of mod x plus 3. But in this case, it is different now. Here I have negative 1 over 7 outside minus x plus 1. So this can be written as minus x over x square plus twice of x plus 4 dx or plus 1. This is what we have. 
if you want you can also take out negative as common if i will take out negative common this will get reduced to the x minus 1 so minus outside minus 1 by 7 x minus 1 simplify the expression you know how to integrate this we have done this in our previous sessions already how to integrate this expression yes ma'am we separate it by adding the plus 1 and then we separate these two yes you can also do that or you can see that if you will substitute your denominator the derivative of the denominator will be 2x plus 2 which can be simply simplified i hope you can complete this question now